Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in today for your word for the day. My name is Robert, one of the pastors here. I've got a question for you as we start. Has someone ever convinced you to do something only for you to realize later that it was a terrible idea? Maybe it was a small thing like trying a new food or restaurant or trying out a new fashion trend or hairstyle. Maybe you took someone's advice on something more seriously and it ended badly and had lasting repercussions in your life. You know, as we continue to open up and explore the book of Proverbs, we'll see that, that there's a priority to focus on wisdom and discernment in life. And if you didn't watch yesterday, the context of Proverbs is a father sharing as many nuggets of wisdom as he can with his son. And even in today's section of Proverbs that we're going to look at in chapter 1, it opens with this statement in verse 8. It says, Hear, my son, your father's instruction, and forsake not your mother's teaching, for they are a graceful garland for your head and pendants for your neck. See, in that context of, of listening to wisdom and prioritizing and saying, hey, listen to what I have to say. It's wisdom to help you discern life situations. The author of Proverbs moves on and to share this. I'm going to read verses 10 through 18 for us. He says, my son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, come with us, let us lie and wait for blood. Let us ambush the innocent without reason. Like Sheol, let us swallow them alive and whole like those who go down in the pit. And we shall find all precious goods and fill our houses with plunder. Throw in your lot among us, for we all have one purse. He says, my son, do not walk in the way with them. Hold back your foot from their paths, for their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. For in vain a net is spread in the sight of any bird, but these men lie in wait for their own blood. They set an ambush for their own lives. Notice the, the filter that we're called there to live by. It says to, to not allow sinners to entice us in their sinful ways. To not take advice from those who live sinfully. Now, that's not to, say, to walk around saying, well, well, you're a sinner, I'm not going to take your advice on what repairs you need to do to my car. But it does bring up a good thing for us to remember. And that is that sin, by nature, is enticing. And we have to intentionally fight against that. I think we forget that at times. We're, we're so used to, to, to making sin this ugly, nasty thing. But the reality is that each of us have certain sins that are enticing to us more so than others. And, and, and if they're not enticing, then it wouldn't be a temptation for us. So sin, by nature, looks appealing and desirable in our life. Sin always promises to bring us joy and meaning and fulfillment, but in reality, it leaves behind pain and regret and destruction. See, there's this old Christian quote that states, sin will take you farther than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to stay, and cost you more than you are willing to pay. That's why at the end of this proverb, we're reminded that the people who live in sin says they set an ambush for their own life. So my challenge for you today is to identify what are the sins that are enticing to you, not so that you could go pursue them and lean into them, so that you can better understand yourself and your temptation so that you can guard against that. So you can't defend against an enemy you don't know and understand, so get to know what sins you are vulnerable to, what temptations are more enticing to you, and then build a defense against them. See, part of that defense may even mean distancing yourself from people around you that want to drag you into that sin and temptation. And I get that the ending friendships is a difficult thing, but if their life is one that has feet, that run to evil, as Proverbs chapter 1 says, and if they're continually enticing you to do the same, the most spiritually beneficial thing you could do may be to distance yourself from those people. But see, at the end of the day, we need to remember that sin is enticing, but sin never holds up to the promises it provides. As we live in sin, we are setting an ambush for our own life, Proverbs says. But God's path and his promises never fail. So stand strong, stand guard against sin and temptation in your life today, and pursue God's plan and his path for your life. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.